Hello, in this video I will show you how you can use the Mask to Transform extension for Adobe Premiere Pro in order to make use of the automatic motion tracking for masks and apply it as a transform to literally anything you want. So you can have something like a text to follow the movement of an object in your shot and in addition to that you can also apply it to rotation and also to scale, which is uh, pretty mind-blowing if you ask me, because this is something that was never ever before possible in Adobe Premiere. You always had to resort to After Effects for that kind of motion tracking. Well, until now. So let's fire up Premiere Pro and let me show you how you can do it there. Okay, so let's take a look at this first example, which is a drone shot from my vacation to Mallorca, which is an island in the Mediterranean. And as you can see, there is a beach and I'm kind of an orbiting to one of the sides. And right here, there is a house where I stayed and I want this label where we stayed to kind of stick into this house, this pointer, this little circle right here. I want it to stay on this house that is right here. And as you can see, when the drone flies to the left, the house kind of moves to the left as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a mask around the house and we need to track it. So let's turn it off for now. This is just a motion graphics layer. As you can see, I have three shapes and a text. This could be anything like a PNG or whatever. But let's hide it for now and let's focus on this track. So I'm going to zoom in to like 100% and let's focus on the house that is right here. And I want to create a mask. And for that we could use opacity, but that way we wouldn't be able to see the entire shot. So I'm going to use this some kind of an effect that with default settings doesn't do anything like a Gaussian blur. I'm just going to drag Gaussian blur to this shot. And as you can see with blurriness zero, it doesn't do anything. And right now we need to create a mask around this house. So I'm just going to take the pen tool and I'm just going to draw a mask that looks something like this. We are going to decrease the feather and then we are going to track it. So I'm going to zoom it out to like 50%. Let's move it to this side so we can see what is going on. Then we need to enable the animation for the mask path. Of course, we are going to be interested only in position for this example. So only position here on this picker. Then let's select the mask again so we can see it and let's hit track forwards by clicking this button. And now the mask has finished tracking and as you can see when I scrub through this clip, you can see that the mask pretty accurately is following this building. Which is something that I think they have improved on over the years because I cannot recall a mask tracking feature in Adobe Premiere Pro to be that accurate. But that is even better for us because now here's where the magic happens because we are going to take this mask path, this whole multitude of keyframes and we are going to copy them and paste them as a transform effect to our motion graphics layer. And here's where the extension comes into play. So I already have this extension open you can see it it is right here this tiny window right here but if you don't have it open and if you've already downloaded it you can go to window extensions and you can find it here it's called mask to transform and right here is first that we need to copy this mask and get those keyframes from the clipboard so you need to actually go to the mask focus on the mask right here not on the mask path but on the mask itself and then right click and copy and right here in the mask to transform extension, you can just hit get from clipboard. And as you can see, successfully read 581 keyframes, 581. Imagine doing that manually, keyframing that many frames manually. This is just mind blowing and you can do it automatically. So now that those keyframes have been parsed and have been loaded into the memory of this extension, you can actually select here. What is that you want to apply as a transform? Do you want only position or maybe position and rotation or position, rotation and scale? Right here we are only interested in the position so this is the only check mark that I'm gonna leave right here and right here there is one parameter you can set here which says when pasting take every five keyframes and that is useful because if you paste every single keyframe sometimes you may end up with a little bit of jarring motion like this and it is better to take like every five keyframes maybe even 10 keyframes it really depends on the kind of shot that you are tracking and then Premiere Pro of course will interpolate between those keyframes so if you select take every five keyframes you're going to have a keyframe in the transfer effect every five frames. So this is the default setting in the extension and this is what we are going to use in this example. So right now what you need to do is you need to just select this motion graphics layer. We can actually zoom out here and enable that so we can actually see that and let's scrub to the beginning of this clip and right here this is selected and we are just going to click paste as transform. And as we can see if we scroll down here you can see that the position keyframes right here are being added. You can see a nice progress bar to see where the plugin is going to finish doing what it's doing. Just wait it out and it is already done and as you can see if I scrub through 
you can see that the text is actually changing its position. Obviously it's not anchored to the correct place because I want this circle to be anchored at the building, but we can easily fix that. So let's go to the beginning and let's move the anchor point of the transform effect. This is the transform effect that was added by the extension to this layer. And we are just going to move this anchor in order to center the circle on the building as we wanted. And now if I play it, as you can see, this motion graphics is sticked perfectly to this building, which is exactly what I wanted. And right now, when you already have it as a transform effect, as keyframes of the position, you can go ahead and enable motion blur if you want by unchecking the used composition shutter angle option and then typing your shutter angle like 180 degrees or something. And also you can change the temporal interpolation of those keyframes to something like Auto Bezier to have an even smoother motion. And just like that, you have successfully sticked your motion graphics into an object in your shot and how easy was that, right? mind-blowing and also with a little bit of trickery you can actually use that tracking data in order to create the so-called uh, locked on stabilization effect where uh, some objects in your shot this building in this example is staying exactly in the middle of our frame while something is changing in the surroundings you can do it completely automatically using that technique and by the way i can make a whole separate video about how to achieve this using the mask to transform plugin if you want me to cover that in a separate video definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below under this video. And right now let's move on to a next example where we are going to apply not only position but also rotation and scale. So in the second example as you can see we have my humble self right here in the very studio that I'm recording this video and I'm just moving my head left and right front and back in order to create the motion change in the rotation and also change in the scale of my face in the shot. So let's start again by dragging a Gaussian blur effect on the shot right here and if we scroll down here we are going to take an oval shape mask right here and just create it around my face just like this and now again we are going to enable animation and we are interested in tracking position scale and rotation tracking right for this shot so and make sure that this one is selected right here click on the mask and then let's just track it all right and the tracking is done as you can see it is flawlessly good i mean it really is pretty impressive how well the tracking turned out to be in this shot and in fact i feel very confident about the accuracy of this tracking so i'm gonna go ahead and click to take every single frame of this tracking into my transform also i want to take position rotation and also scale for this one again we are going to right click on the mask copy it then we are going to enable this motion graphics which is just a as you can see orange box around my head and then i'm going to select it on the timeline now it is selected and then get from clipboard this will parse my keyframes that i have from the mask path as you can see we have 472 keyframes and then we are going to paste them by hitting this button right here all right and now it's all set so as before we have to move the anchor point in order to get the initial position that the way we want so i'm just going to move it and that is pretty good and then let's just play it back to see how good it looks and as you can see it perfectly tracks the movement of my face it's getting bigger as i move the head towards the camera it's getting smaller when i move my head back and it's going to the sides it's rotating exactly to follow the movement of my face and how cool is that didn't i tell you this is something that was never ever before possible in adobe premiere and now you can do that you don't need to learn after effects you don't need to jump back and forth between premiere and after effects you don't even to have it installed on your system this really is a game changer if you're doing anything pretty much look any kind of a video if you're making vlogs if you're making travel videos if you're making like youtube videos like i do if you're making some product shots motion traffic definitely can be useful in any types of those videos in order to make the production value of your video just so much better if you want to get it for yourself this extension for premiere pro you can head over to the description of this video and click on the first link yes i am the author of this extension i can highly highly recommend it just bear in mind that it solely is depending on the accuracy of the tracking of this mask so if the mask tracking doesn't go as planned then the plugin cannot do anything it just takes the keyframes from the mask path and applies it as transform and does a whole bunch of mathematical operations behind the scenes which luckily for you you don't even need to care about or know how it works and if you're checking out this extension make sure to also check out some other extensions that i have made from adobe premiere pro definitely check out the extension called drag zoom pro which is just a massive massive speed up if you do any kind of digital zooms or pans or something like this in your edits inside premiere it will just massive 
relatively speed up your workflow, trust me. Check out Dragzoom Pro. Actually, I have a whole other separate video about this extension which you can watch by clicking on the card right here. And also if you want to check out my Premiere Pro tutorials, which is something that I usually post on this YouTube channel, you can click on the card right here. Don't forget to subscribe, like I said, new videos every single week and give this video a like if you like this and yeah, have fun with the plugin. See you next time, hopefully. Bye bye.